Hey what's up users, this is John at muse for You, and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you the thin and thick icon pack from muse for you shopcom So basically I've created a few example sites here. So this is the thin and thick icon pack, excuse me, uh, thin and thick icon pack. And these are all SVG and they've been added to Adobe Muse as a web font which is a really cool way uh, to add SVG icons to Adobe Muse and I'll show you how to do that in this video. So here's the icon pack. We have a few icons, or uh, quite a few. There's 52 here. And we have arrows, we have computers, uh, we have uh, devices, tablet, mobile, and a few other icons here. Battery, clock, and uh, magnifying glasses, and pencil, and very useful icons that, that could help with uh, your web design and web development and uh, yeah, add more styling. So I have a few examples here, and these are all different colors of the thin and thick icon pack. And what's great about adding the thin and thick icon pack, uh, this is kind of an example of what I did for, with a shopping cart type website. Uh, what's great about these icons is that you can make them as big or as small as, you, as you'd like without losing any quality. So yeah, without losing any qual quality. And um, yeah, and you can color, you can change the color. It's as easy as changing the color of text. Uh, you simply highlight the icon and change the color. So here's another example as well. Here are the icons and I've just changed the color. Okay, so to gain access to the thin and thick icon pack, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you go to shop now. And here you can purchase the icon pack. Uh, the 52 SVG icons included as a web font in Adobe Muse. Click on Preview, and you can preview the fonts. And then you simply click on Buy for $5 right here. And it'll take you to PayPal. And then the file will be sent to your email that you used with PayPal. Okay, so it's very simple here uh, to purchase through PayPal, and you'll receive it in an email. You'll receive a, a zip file, so I'll go to the zip file. Um, it'll most likely go to your downloads folder and then you can place it in any folder you'd like. I've placed it in this folder um, and the, the file name is muse for You Thin and Thick Icon Pack. So to unzip it, you simply double click or if you're on Windows, you can click on, you can right click and click ext extract all or extract the folder and it'll extract it to a folder. Uh, right now I'm just going to double click. And here is the folder muse for You Thin and Thick Icon Pack. So I'll double click to go in there. And we have a few files here. The, the main folder that we're concerned with here is the font folder. You don't really have to pay attention to any of these other files, but just simply double click into the fonts folder. So now I'm in the fonts folder and I have these four different files. I have muse for you thin and thick icon pack .eot, .svg, .ttf, and .woff. Now the first thing I want to do is double click on the .ttf file and this will install the icon pack uh, as a font onto my com computer because this is a font it's going to install it on my computer so I'll just simply double click and click on install font alright now I have the font installed onto my computer and now we're going to install it in Adobe Muse so we can use it uh, as a web font in Adobe Muse and add these these different icons as fonts as web fonts or they're called glyphs add them as glyphs uh, in Adobe Muse so I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Muse. And I'm going to go to File. And right here, click on Add Remove Web Fonts. Click there. And then you can either click on Adobe Edge Web Fonts or Self-Hosted Web Fonts. You want to click on Self-Hosted Web Fonts. Then you want to click on Add Fonts. And here it's, it's asking for a .woff, a .eot, and a .svg file. So I'm going to go back to that folder and I'm going to select the .eot and I can hit uh, hold down command to select multiple files or control if you're on Windows and I've selected the .eot, the .svg, and the .woff so I've selected those so I simply click, hold, and drag onto here and now it says three web font files were found and down here it says by clicking continue I affirm I have properly licensed the above fonts for website use you want to check that off and then click continue all right, perfect. Now the Muse for You Thin and Thick Icon Pack, uh, and adds regular there, right there. Uh, it says it's been added. Now, if you didn't add the web font first before you uh, you installed 
excuse me, if you didn't install the font first onto your computer before you you added it as a web font in Adobe Muse, you'll probably get an error here. Um, here, it'll, it'll be in red, and that's because uh, you do have to have it as a font first on your computer before uh, it, Adobe Muse recognizes this as a web font. Um, it's just how the, how it works here in, in Adobe Muse. So uh, you can click on this gear icon here and you can add license information if you'd like, uh, but pretty much, um, you know, you can if you'd like, but that's pretty much it. And then you just click OK. And then it says one font family was added to the web fonts menu and then click OK. So now if I go to file, new site, and I click OK, and I'll double click on the home page here. And then I'm going to select my text tool here with the T right over here to the left. And I'm just going to create a text box. And then I'm going to select the font. So if I go to my font options here, my web fonts, and I look for under web fonts, I'm going to look for Muse for You Thin and Thick Icon Pack. It's right here. So I click on it. And if we type, you see it's just regular text. So we can delete that. What we want to do is go over here to the right in, um, in our options here, our different panels, and click on glyphs. And right over here in glyphs, we see we have all the icons from the icon pack. And we can simply add the icons just like so. If you don't see the glyphs option, just go to window and then click on glyphs. And then I'll click it again to bring it back up. And there, there's the glyphs. All right. So if I, if I double click into here, I can select all of these different icons. And what's great about these glyphs is uh, you can make them as large or as small as you want. Uh, I believe the maximum size for the fonts, you can make them like, I think it's close to a thousand. No, it's 720. So as you can see, I've made these uh, icons bigger by treating them like font, just changing the font size here. So highlighting them and then over here in the text, changing the size, just like uh, a font. And if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, we can see we have these really nice large icons and the quality is 100%. And that's because if we go to Muse for You Shop, I have a nice description here. Um, if we go to SVG icon sets, it says SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG images and their behaviors are defined in XML text files. This means that you can scale an SVG image as large or as small as you'd like without losing any quality in the image. And SVG, it's pretty safe to use them now. Before, it wasn't that safe because most browsers didn't support it. But now most browsers do support it. And I've actually done a bit of research on this. And if we look here, these are all the browsers and um, like all the browsers support SVG. Only Internet Explorer 8 doesn't support it and not many people are using that. But SVG is, is really safe to use now. Uh, mostly it's been PNG, but yeah, SVG is, is good to go. So there it is, um, the SVG icon pack. And I can simply highlight it as well and change the color. I can change it to any color and perfect. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because they're really large. So I'm going to make it like 72. And there's the icons. I could simply double click in the text again, go to glyphs and keep adding more icons. It's really awesome. And just add them like so. And then I can highlight and change the color of all of them. And perfect. So I could even do something like uh, first write some text like, um, you know, Muse for you. And then I can pick a different font like Lotto and change it to 72 and then change the color to, you know, maybe this color here, this blue color for my desktop background. And then I can even in here then change the, the font and select me for you thin and thick and add like a plus symbol right there. Very good. So it's all part of the text. And yeah, even if I resize it, everything gets resized. It's pretty awesome. I can change the color and you can see all of it changes. So these icons are just really great to use for, for web design and they can add a lot of um, functionality or yeah, it's easy to, to create really cool things with these SVG icon sets uh, because you're not limited to size, quality, uh, importing an image like a PNG. It's simply like treating the icons as font and it's just really awesome to use. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And I'll go back to the examples. I mean, that, that I used uh, with these icon packs, here, here they are. 
And you can just go to muse for You shop and just check them out if you go to preview and just look at all the different icons there. Very good. So you can see I changed the color of them just to show as, as an example. And here's like a shop. We have, you know, different, we have the shopping cart, the shopping bag, the, the money symbol and the wallet. And in this example, it's a web design and development site. Um, see, we got, you know, the, the desktop, laptop, tablet, and mobile icons, and just really useful icons that I think, you know, will help with web design and web development. And I think you can find a lot of really cool uses for them. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the SVG thin and thick icon pack. Uh, if you if you like what you see, if you think you know you'd like to use these, you can simply go to muse for you, muse for you and just click on the link below uh, in the description area, and you can buy for for five dollars and and just receive the icon pack as a download. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, uh, please subscribe below. You'll get access to the Muse for You uh, private community. Uh, you'll get news and updates on new video tutorials that come out from the uh, Muse for You YouTube channel. You'll also get news and updates on new uh, Edge Animate animations that I've created that you can add to your uh, to your website. So if we go to the Muse for You shop, um, there's different animations that you can check out and add more branding and interest to your website. And you'll get updates on new animations that I've created that you can add to your to your website. And they work. 100% scalable on mobile, tablet, and uh, desktop. It's 100% scalable. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe, get updates, and uh, I might be doing a few classes uh, where I teach live. So you know you'll get to learn how to create um, websites and ask me questions live. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Oh, also below are links to my website starter kit. There's web hosting. Uh, there's uh, links to widgets and themes uh, from Muse Themes. Um, they have some great themes and, and widgets. Um, and let me see, anything else? Yeah, and images from Dollar Photo Club. Um, you can get awesome images for a dollar, and they're just amazing images. So yeah, check that out. Uh, check out my website, museforyoushop.com, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.